Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna to talk about backlash and backlash compensation for a ZWO electronic autofocuser. In my last video, we installed the ZWO EAF on a StellarView refractor. Let's get started. I've gone ahead and placed a piece of painter's tape on the fine and coarse focusing knob. I drew a line down to one of these ridges on the fine focus knob and continued it down on the coarse focus knob. You could have also rubber banded a pen or pencil to each of these knobs and instead of checking to see if these line up, check to make sure that when you return back to your target position that these are parallel with each other. To demonstrate the backlash compensation, I'm going to be using the native ZWO driver. However, I would recommend that when you set this up for your own telescope, you set it up in your imaging software. Some of the software out there will get a little bit confused if you have a backlash compensation set up in the native driver itself. Each imaging software suite has its own routine and its own method for compensating for backlash. Now, something else you should do is go ahead and click that subscribe button. That way you never miss out on future tips and tricks, videos, or live streamed virtual star parties. So we're gonna go ahead and take note of the current position, which is 20,145. We're gonna write that down because that's where we're starting right now and we wanna be able to return to that position. We're gonna move the focuser out about 300 steps in 100 step increments and see where we're at. So let's go ahead and move it out. Start off with 100 steps, two and three. And we're gonna go back to our starting position and move back there. Now, as you can see, we're not lined up anymore. Now, we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna move in 300 steps and go back to our target position and see where we're at. Now, as you can see, we're lined back up. Why is that? Well, if you remember back, we talked about this briefly on my first video. Each gear has a little bit of spacing in between. If they were meshed tightly together, those gears wouldn't be able to rotate. So as long as you're moving in one way, forward or back, there's always pressure on those gears. However, whenever you reverse directions, each gear in that system has a little bit of play and it all adds up. And that's what backlash is, and that's what we're trying to compensate for. Now this is gonna be a little bit of guess and check, and whatever number we end up with here is gonna be different for your own telescope. So let's go ahead and put a number in. We know it's less than 100 steps, not quite 50. So let's go ahead and put 40 in. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna move out 300 steps and we're going to move it back in 300 steps and as you can see we are just about lined up so i'm going to it looks like we overshot a little bit so i'm going to go ahead and drop this down to 38 steps and we're going to repeat this process we're going to move it out 300 steps and then we're going to go back in 300 steps. That's looking pretty good, actually. Now let's go the other way and see what happens. We'll go in 300 steps. We're going to go back out 300 steps. Then we're looking pretty good. So instead of just going in and out and set number of steps. Let's try a random number. Let's say 287 steps. 
we'll go ahead and move it out. Now we want to go back to where we started, which is our original current position of 20,145 in this case. Yours is going to be a little bit different. And we're going to tell it to move to that position. It still might be overshooting a little bit. So we're going to try dropping this down to 36. And we're going to repeat the process once again. Move it out. And then move it back to our starting position. And that's looking better. So for now, I'm going to leave it at 36 steps for the backlash compensation. And once I get this mounted to my pier, I'll be able to go ahead and try an autofocus routine and see if it completely successfully completes it. All right, everyone, that wraps up this video on backlash and backlash compensation for a ZWO EAF. Hopefully this video will help you get into focus. If you like this video, go ahead and click that like button. It will really help this channel grow. And make sure to subscribe. That way you don't miss out on future videos and virtual live stream star parties. Until next time, clear skies.